Carl Rhodes has been taking his family to the Madras Aquatic Center since they could walk. Uh, I think it's important for the community. It's a fabulous facility. Uh, you know, you're looking at a multi-million dollar facility. It's one of the best, I think, in Central Oregon. It supports everybody in Madras from youth to seniors to school. Uh, it's got phenomenal programs. For Carl, voting to dissolve the current district and create a new one was a no-brainer. But that wasn't the case for the rest of the local voters. The measure aimed at saving the aquatic center was voted down. From the spectrum of people being disappointed to not knowing about it or being maybe confused of the way it was presented uh, and, you know, for the vote. The MACRD board admits the measures may have confused voters, but state law requires one vote to dissolve and another to recreate a new district. I've talked with patrons today uh, reflecting on the election. A lot of them said that they heard from friends they were confused, that they weren't sure if they should vote yes or no on which one. Um, and so I think that for me it demonstrates a need for more education around um, what the measures were actually going to do. Now that the measures are voted down, the MACRD board is going to have to make some major financial adjustments. At the end of the day, we're going to have to reduce programs and services. It's just a matter of how deep and um, how wide uh, those cuts go. Schedules and hours will remain the same through the summer. You'll see the effect of these measures failing in October, despite what voters and the district board might have hoped for. Also just want you to know that we care about the people that we serve and we're doing the best we can with what we've got. In Madras, Steele Haugen, Central Oregon Daily News.